Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. This is the real Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And I don't know what today's date is. And I don't know where to fix that in the systems somewhere out there in the Facebook land. But we are here. It is the 2nd of December. And we do not have our Christmas decorations up. But we are ready for uh, the images of Mick Foley delightfully playing Santa Claus. We got with us, first of all, oh, I'm speak, speaking of Mick Foley. That's where I was last week. We talked about it on the Mayhem show last week on Tuesday. Uh, I was attending the Mick Foley um, show with our friend Matt Light opening at the Pittsburgh Improv. It was delightful. Dominic DiNucci has some opinions about professional wrestling today. Um, yeah, Lord, you know, Lord, it's Dominic DiNucci. Lord, <laughs> said how, I, I just want a polka song about Dominic DiNucci. If that doesn't already exist, it should, because it's like so, the most Pittsburgh thing possible. And oh, we're Al Yankovic. That's, oh, man. And there is Mad Mike. He's up in Beacon, New York. He is the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. Oh man, did I have a productive day today? So you did. You had a snow day because you're in day. because you're in upstate New York, and that's yeah. happening. Yeah, I'm. I wasn't driving an hour and a half to where I work, based it's on standards. the weather today. Standards. No, no, it's 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 different city. It sounds like that. No, but... no, no. <laughs> oh. <okay>. Oh. <laughs> ah. No, uh, no, I wasn't doing that today. But I did say, like I've been saying this. Since I received the uh, Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts castle, mm-hmm. that my first snow day, after I get rid of the snow, I'm going to sit down in front of my laptop and I am going to start building said Hogwarts castle. But, but, but? Now, okay. Uh, before we how get long into is that, how long, long is this? Long, wait, wait, wait. Long, how long, long is this? Int- introduce our introduce. Oh wait, our, we have another person here. Uh, yeah. Announcer, <laughs> and commentator, and here. Again. With one Black Diamond Wrestling and one uh, Black Diamond Wrestling is enough. Uh, Nick Fair is with us. How you doing? Hey. What's up? Good to be here. Good to welcome, be here. Uh, welcome back. Thanks welcome for back. Thanks for forgetting about me. Forgetting about me. That's cool. I appreciate it. I, I didn't forget Nick. I, I feel got, the love. I. You know what? I've I've consumed so much. I've forgotten other things like who you are yeah, this okay. this weekend because okay. I I oof oof. You called eleven <laughs> matches. I filmed 22 in two days. We had 12. <laughs> What's that? We had 12. We had 12? And a new champion crowned out of we nowhere. We had 12. 12 matches. We had two new champions. So Randy Orton was there? No, yes. <laughs> yes, except Randy Orton's new name is Tatiana Rose. Yes. And she doesn't wear that pants. That sounds like a massive upgrade. And there's a big discussion about how she doesn't wear pants yeah. today. Who, who wears pants these days? Not Tatiana Rose, your new BDW Women's Champion. Yes. Okay. And That's right. new. And new. You got to do that. You got to do that twice. Yes. Yes, I did. So, nice. um, although I feel like technically she retained yeah, with uh, that one. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I think that was an and still. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. It was, I don't know, three matches in, she got handed a belt. You, you could say, like, and still new. And still new. She should have hashtagged that. Yeah, she should yeah, have. yeah, yeah. I love, like, with the question mark. I love walking around afterwards and, and in the pictures she posted, she's just kind of concerned that she has a belt. Yeah, she's like, wait, <laughs> wait hold on. What the hell is this? Why do I have it in my possession? Like, and, how did uh, the, it's like, it's like this, this, vi- this visual of, how did this get here on my shoulder? It's mine now? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, it's it's an interesting story, and and we're gonna have to have her on to talk about it at some point here. Uh, she's a newbie, and yes. uh, she has joined us. I don't think she's been on the show, but she has been on our um our Twitch stream for the mm-hmm. video game. Yeah, like with with Prohemoth oh. and the guys. Mm-hmm. So, um, maybe 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 we'll have to change that in the near future. But right. anyways, a lot of wrestling, a lot of good in wrestling, a lot, a lot, a lot of wrestling. Uh, so first of all, b- before we get to the wrestling, because this is a wrestling podcast, we have to w- talk about, um, Lego Legos. Hogwarts Cal- Legos, Castle. Yes. yes. Okay. So that's sword. what this show is now. <laughs> yes. So I said my first, my first snow day, I was going to start building this monstrosity. 
Yeah. Oh God. Now this is for guys on audio. It oh. is. That is a very impressive looking Hogwarts mm-hmm. castle playset. It it is over six thousand pieces. Six thousand pieces. Are there internals to that? Uh, yes. Oh my god. Okay, that's um, enough pieces to have a chess flexor versus Dash Bennett Lego death match. Okay, so Sorg, hmm. I started at at the front of this. The front, and that's a what is that a book? I am at the back of it, and that's I a, have I have only a few pages left okay. of this book. Okay, that's a so, step one hundred and seventy. So you would you would think I'd be you know pretty far along. Okay. Um. I have. Three oh God! Books. Oh my! Oh no! Oh no! No, that's a headache. Is that one for each headache. wing? I'm not sure. You're not sure. I'm not sure. Um, there are upwards of thirty bags of Legos. Oh jeez. Are upwards they marked? Of... Hmm? Are they marked, or do you have to guess? Oh no! They're all the bags are marked. They're, okay. they're, Lego's very good about that stuff. I imagine like, they've, um, been do- they've been doing it for a while. Yeah, like the page that I'm on, you see bag seven there. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. So I, I'm at bag seven, which is I think pretty good. I caught up on Watchmen while building <laughs> Legos. Oh shit! I, I mean... watched three episodes of Silicon Valley while building. I need Legos. to finish Silicon Valley so I can start Watchmen. Yes. And I need to finish Rebels. Um, oh, God, I got so much. I ain't got to so watch AEW and Brink again. So far, this is what I have. Oh, geez. It just looks like it, it's, it's a cliff a, side. <laughs> it's a cliff. Like, you have a cliff. Like, like there's the Hogwarts lifeboat. Uh-huh. Out, nice. Yeah. And. Oh, geez. The Chamber of Motherfucking Secrets. <laughs> Exposed. Do you see the basilisk? I, I guess. Yes. The giant snake sword. And look. There is the intro, the uh, the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Wow. Yeah. They really wow. go in depth. How man, to be a Lego engineer. Like that... I I'm vastly excited by this. And it comes with micro figures. Oh jeez. Those are all micro figures. Mm-hmm. The only normal size Lego minifigs it comes with are the founders of Hogwarts. Ooh. Because they're statues. Only, yes. Mm. I only have Godric Gryffindor right now. Okay. But but I know I'll be getting to more of them soon. And also, little lifeboats to put outside the castle. <laughs> oh, these, I see. That's water attached to the yeah, bottom, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. water attached to them. Okay. These are, these are the boats that the first years take in. Oh, you, you got to watch because your, your, your frame rate, like if you don't move it, like if you don't hold it still enough, it just kind of looks like a blur to us on this oh, end. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. It's shiny. Yeah, it's shiny. Yeah, it's it's pretty great. I'm excited for it. That's awesome. Yeah, that's 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 what I was doing. For... So the Lego update is now going to be how far am I in Hogwarts Castle this week? Um. Well, I'm only going. I'm going to pace myself with this. Okay. Um. I will not be doing this on weekends. Mm-hmm. Um, Alex, I have the Quidditch Arena. It is at my uh, my my seasonal residence in Poughkeepsie because <laughs> I couldn't br- because I couldn't bring everything over from there. Okay, all right. I re- I can't. You wait. Know, it's at my mom's house. All right, Alex. Yeah. Are you happy? <laughs> Are you fucking happy, Alex? I can't wait till like you do a show from there so I can call it your seasonal re- res- residence, like the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> right. That's fantastic. But yeah, I actually have the like. If I ever get a full room, like for Lego, I will be able to recreate the entire Harry Potter series. Mm. And it's going to be fantastic. Film your own movies. Yes. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm going this... to do it my way. This is the extension of, like, you know, I remember when Granddad had the slot car race you know thing board set up Mm -hmm. like in in the garage right like this is a version of that right yeah Um, i mean it's it's very relaxing it's you know you miss my you miss hold on sorry put the camera back on me all right right, real quick real quick uh tina this is the lego hogwarts update it's the base so far and there's some uh there's a boat boat house and then there's a chamber of secrets over yonder you can rewind to get better shots of that yeah (laughs) Later. Take that, rewind it back. <laughs> That's right. Take that, flip it, rewind it back, and we good. Uh, anyways, so Mad Mike is the only uh, is only one book into a three book Lego build. No, it's a four book, I believe. 
Four book. Four book Lego build. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Four book Lego build. Uh, I'm being corrected. Matt says that Tatiana um, came on the show during Mayhem Mania. Listen, man. Oh, uh, well, that almost. This is, count. listen, I, I have legit forgotten Mania. who's been on the show. Okay. I, I've like, wait, have we had you on? Wait, have we done a thing? I, I, I met John, John Thorne this weekend. I'm, and I'm like, I don't think we've met in person, have we? <laughs> <laughs> Though I've had many conversations with him on the show, mm. so it was like I don't I don't think we've officially connected. Then I'm like, wait, maybe we did meet at Chikara. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Alex is asking what I do with them when I finish. Um, so far, some of them are are right up there, mm-hmm. and some of them are further up yonder. Why don't you donate them to? indie wrestling shows for matches um because, <laughs> no. because no. Fuck no i'm just no. saying like i would you love know what? i will donate my Listen. here here's what i'll donate to, to indie shows i have this tardis mm-hmm. that's full of all the extra pieces ah ah that's I'll the that's, that. that's the cause that's the cause bucket yeah that's yeah like, listen to how many legos I it's have like here. the lego swear jar for the cause <laughs> fuck, oh, wow, this, fuck this doesn't fit in the drawer <laughs> so oh, a sorg a sorg they give you extra pieces so that's yes. the lego update what is the good in wrestling this week for you gents and ladies and gents in the uh, audience out there in the in the live chat room on Facebook. If you are joining us anywhere else, we are also streaming. Our main stream is over at the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook Live, Facebook page. Uh, so if you are on one of the other platforms that we're streaming here tonight, uh, please jump over there. And uh, if you want to drop a line and, and, and get in on the conversation over there. Anyway, so what is your good Nick? Nasty um, Nick? Well... Well, 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 that was what? 12 matches. Last 12 night. matches. You survived. I'll tell you what. The I enjoyed, longest though. black diamond show in, in history. But the, the see what the matches. Uh, they were good matches. They were good matches. And that was like it was like the most solid show. Yes. Unfortunately, it was the most solid two shows. Yes. I've experienced. Because that was definitely the length of two black diamond shows. But look how many people came back. I mean, we had Andrew Palace. Mm-hmm. We had Troy Lords. Mm-hmm. We had uh, Peyton Graham. Like, mm-hmm. we had just all these names coming back. And then we had a new women's champion crowned out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the women's, cha- the women's champion was crowned by she's making her entrance. And Ronnie comes out. Ronnie Starks comes out and is like, here, this is yours now. Yeah, you should probably hold <laughs> on to you this. You should probably hold on to this. <laughs> So that was a thing that happened. Yes. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Uh, myself, I did the uh, Tri-City Tour mm-hmm. over my holiday, uh, starting Wednesday in Erie for mm-hmm. Revenge Pro, which was a fantastic show, um, uh, headlined by uh, uh, Bill Collier and uh, PB Smooth. Also, we had Jackson Argos, uh, John McChesney. Uh, there was a, an I Quit match against Anthony Gaines and Kevin Bennett. I was on top of my head because I've literally just finished the edit, and it's been rendering mm. since, since the beginning of Raw. Um, and uh, the I Quit match ended with uh, handcuffed uh, Kevin Bennett being doused in gasoline and being threatened to be lit on fire. Oh, I think that's against fire God. code there at yeah. the hotel. I'm pretty sure that's the plot of Home Alone 3. How also, bad was the smell? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got some on me. Uh, uh, somebody's somebody. The the owner of the ring was not terribly happy. Uh, so, Son of a bitch. And I feel like at this poor. I'm not going to disclose, but there's a certain person that that rents a ring in the area. And it feels like every bad, messy thing happens to his ring. And I don't feel like this happens to other people's rings the way it happens to his. And it's just kind of been. He must have pissed off the wrestling gods or something. The shit. wrestling gods. He's had, I, you know. Hey, I pissed I've, off JBL too. That doesn't mean you know. I <laughs> wait, just, hold I on. Okay, just because he went by it does. I'm just gonna shut yeah, up. It, yeah, um, it was on. a, it was a joke. It was. I know. Moving on. I hate moving JBL on. too. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but no, started with that. Um, uh, and actually had some Thanksgiving with the family, couple, watched a couple movies, cleaned the house, uh, that kind of stuff. And then we went to Cleveland for UXWA, mm. uh, great promotion. We, uh, we actually sent Rob up to film the last show and got to go up there. Sitting a lot of AIW guys. Uh, Lee Moriarty was on that. He also debuted. Oh, Lee I Mor- love his work. Lee Moriarty and Jack Pollock was the surprise match in Revenge. Are you serious? Yes. How was that? That was great. Although I'm not sure many people 
it was the popcorn match, and I don't know if a lot of people in Erie knew who Lee was. Mm-hmm. Um, and Jack hadn't been there, and so well, Jack's been injured for a while. Yeah. So, but it was still like you know, it was like, oh shit, it was something I've wanted to see. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Lee was also at XWA, UXWA. Um, great promotion. It was great to be there in person. Again, very long. Um, Dominic uh, Garini is, uh, I believe, you know, doing a lot of great things with that right now. Um, again, it's on the it's on the block for editing this week, uh, along with Black Diamond, and Black Diamond was in uh, just outside of Wheeling. So a three state, three city <laughs> tour, um, and everything was you know one person shooting edits. Uh, so it was like just me ringside running my ass around <laughs> with a hard cam. Um, so that was that was a you, lot of fun. Uh, you definitely got your steps in this. Oh, weekend. I got my steps. I'm like, oh, I haven't really. <laughs> I'm like, should I hit the treadmill at this hotel? Nah. nah. And I get there, it's like, oh, we're having like 12 matches. Like, shit. <laughs> so, um. Oh, so, by the way, uh, good. Samojo is on commentary. It yeah, was he very, is really. Good. I really liked his commentary. Like, there's a few like, oh, okay. like it, it helps soften things and I, at least cancel. I out. like anyone that's there that that's talking that's not King. Yeah, anything that drowns him out a little bit, and I think it was good. And even even the stuff with King, I, I, I wish I wish Joe would actually choke him out. Yeah, well, we'll that, get, that's that would be. Fantastic. We'll see how many weeks is going to take. When we're, I mean, right. when we're ready for him to come back, you know, that's how he's going to yeah, make uh, his return. Yeah, he's just going to get up and say, "Fuck this," choke out King and go to the ring. Yep, probably choke him out. Go choke him out. Yell, have another heart attack, and go to the ring. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I'm going to echo Brandon's good mm-hmm. in the chat room. Um, the best thing in wrestling, <laughs> yes, currently yes. is Dave Batista, mm-hmm. Drax the motherfucking destroyer, is about to destroy Dana Brooks DMs. I think that's <laughs> I, already I, mid process. I mean, yeah, that's a couple yeah, of yeah, years it, older. It, 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 they FaceTimed. They FaceTimed? Wait, what? They FaceTimed. Was he standing there with his arms up? <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of hard to do that when you're FaceTiming. You I mean, can get a tripod. And I'll, and I'll say this. If Dana Brooke breaks out a motherfucking Batista bomb in the Royal Rumble, I will legitimately lose my mind. God, I will definitely pop legitimately for that. lose my mind. Their kids are going to have so many muscles. <laughs> Get them squats. <laughs> like, it, I think he's trying to. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he is. It, it was but, a great exchange. I know you guys were sharing it, and I started following through. And I'm like, this is fantastic. This is the best. It's the best thing. It's the reason Twitter was invented. Mm-hmm. All I'm those years, it was leading to that moment. Yes. Um. So Alex out there in California says uh, his good is he went to a wrestling show high and got used as a weapon. Oh, like wheels. Uh, oh, wow. I don't know if wheels is on any substances, but uh, <laughs> other than his prescriptions, but uh, I only presume he is. I don't know. Aren't we all on prescriptions at this age? Uh, so, um, yeah. Lifelong. What's that? Lifelong. <laughs> lifelong. Li- lifelong drug user. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for prescriptions. Kind. Yay. <laughs> So disclaimer. Thank you, thyroid. Uh, t- Tina. Tina says good in this week is uh, Effie is here in the area. Um, by the way, Effie, I just saw. We well, we saw Gregory Iron yesterday. It was good seeing yep. him again. Um, he he has Effie on his podcast coming up. Really? Uh, yeah. He's. I think. I think Gregory Iron took my podcast like interview and wish list. Um, he also, another one I want to listen to, cause I've, I've heard some discussions amongst the wrestlers about this. Um, I, I know him as the soul taker when I saw him up in Detroit, but, and he has a bleeped out, but it's like the N word taker was a thing. Oh, you, I, you, you, you've heard about this, right? I know. Oh God. Yeah. I've, I've heard about this at work. This was, you know, was at work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? It's made it, it there. Huh? Far, huh? It, way different context. It made it, it made it there. The standard, huh? No, no. <laughs> wow, damn. things are starting to look, you know, make sense now. It all comes together. Oh, but either was no, but there, no, like no. this there's a whole story behind it and go listen to the interview. I'm sure it's great. Uh but I mean, if anybody's going to have a conversation, I think you know, Greg's a, a fun one to be mm-hmm. doing that with. So he's been, yeah, he's been having a lot of great interviews over there. So I usually start listening to his podcast and, and just don't get past the him and Aaron McGuire 
uh, conversations because I haven't seen Aaron McGuire in like fucking years, like mm-hmm. since Prime shut down, probably maybe right. like a waterway show or something. And so it was kind of fun to hear them just catching up and talking about old PWO Prime days and really, right. you know, shit like that. But I, and I'll tell you what, he's one of the most genuine people you'll meet too. Like, mm-hmm. oh yes, yes, he, <laughs> he is absolutely. <laughs> Um, no, it was good. Uh, th- so where was that? So, oh yeah, Tina. Yeah, when he said bullshit <laughs> in the yes. first match, I was like, oh hey, using that TV fourteen. I was totally, I was totally expecting him for to say bullcrap. And oh no, 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 we, we just went there. We just went there. Have they been I, using dumps on USA? Uh, I'm not aware. I, I think it. I think in the replay. In the replay, they do. Do it, yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, it's cable. They can go fast and loose with that if they really want to. So, mm-hmm. um, let's see. Did Batista do the machine gun? Oh, okay. I'm making sure I didn't skip anybody else's good for the week. Did I skip one of you guys? Did you you all have a good for this week? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Dana, mm-hmm. Dana Brooke and Batista. Oh, that was it. <laughs> um, that, that may be my good for the next several weeks. Anyways, uh, Mike, you know how I like to keep this a positive show. Yeah, yeah. You know how I try? I got good news for you. Oh, God. That's getting thrown out the window. Whoa, okay. Because I was given a request Okay. for this show. Uh-huh. Because somebody wanted a platform. Okay. Somebody that has been uh, uh, slighted by the world of professional wrestling, namely okay. the licensing department of professional wrestling, okay. namely the developers at whoever fucking owns 2K Games, I guess, uh, WWE uh, 2K20. Way, apologies for the background noise. A cat is walking around on all the Lego bags. <laughs> I would not think we're picking it up, but thank okay, you for that good. visual. That was awesome. Okay. That's so awesome. Because I just hear it in the background. I'm like, he's walking over at least 25 Lego bags right now. Oh, I did miss. <laughs> Tina said, uh, Wrestle Summit with PCW, Progress, and Defy uh, out there the past weekend. And I think she had some stuff coming up. Oh, that was this past week. And again, Effie comes in the area too. Jealous because I haven't seen Effie in the in this area. So Pittsburgh, get your shit together and book Effie. Um, you're doing a good job of booking Ronnie. So hashtag book Effie. Hashtag Yin's book Effie to keep it locational. Um, so all right, all right. It was wait. Are we gonna talk shit about WWE? I'm in the chat. So um. We already not been doing that. What do you mean the new day's taking my podcast away? What is that? I know they started new a day. podcast. Yeah, listen, if we were threatened by wrestlers starting a podcast, <laughs> that would have happened years ago. At this listen, point. I know where I know our place in the world. Okay, I know I know what we're doing. But uh, yeah, I, I do want to listen to the new. Wait, day podcast. you actually know what we're doing? Is that the news? <laughs> Did we finally figure this out, Sork? That's big news. That's wow. That's good to know. We're making progress. Yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> we finally figured this thing out. Listen, guys. listen. I had to do an interview with a with a representative from General Motors a few weeks ago, and everything I knew, everything I knew to do that interview, I learned from interviewing uh, pro wrestlers, including Puppet the Angry Dwarf. So <laughs> that's my official resume statement. <laughs> Nick, you're pissed off. Tell me about it. Oh, I'm pissed off. Oh, we're doing fix this. Your camera. You're a little dark over there. I'm a... So, so go ahead and talk wow, while I, I am, walk away. I am a pale man, and you're saying I'm dark. I know. Over yeah, here. we gotta fix that exposure. I'm gonna white balance on your face. Sure. Why not? Tell so, me, tell me more. So, um, I have a tradition every year. Every year, Black Friday, because I love storylines. I go out and I buy the new wrestling game, whatever it is, and I play it through. <laughs> And I go through the entire storyline. I go through their showcase if they have one. And then typically I put it down for the year because that's all I'm there for. So Black Friday, nonetheless, I go out. I buy the new game without looking at the reviews of it first because I'm a dumbass. Mm. And (laughs) I take it home. Really? Twitter didn't even dissuade you? No. Just in general? I I don't use Twitter. So I just like said, screw it. I'm going to go buy it. Like it's 2K. It better be better than last year because last year was pretty good. What the fuck, 2K? <laughs> <laughs> For one, it's a 50 gigabyte game. I'm cheap. 
That's and a I lot. bought the five hundred. I mean, a lot of them are. Yeah. yeah. So that's automatic, and then because as it's loading, because it takes three hours to freaking load the game, I'm looking at the reviews and how god awful it is, and I'm like, okay, well, there's an update, so like maybe it's fixed now. That's an extra ten, so now we're up to sixty. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna start going through. And just automatically, you get to the title screen, you hit the any button, which I can never find the any button. Like, that just pisses me off. Right. So Thank I hit, you for that old joke. Yep. So I hit it, and it goes in, and the first thing you see is Becky Lynch. And God, she looks awful. It is like they took her and smeared her face with, like, do you remember the paint platform on Microsoft, mm -hmm. the old one, where <laughs> mm -hmm. you could take, like, the smudger? Windows 3.1? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. Yep. But then I start going through every single character model, too, and they're all god-awful. Mm -hmm. I start looking into it. It's Ukes pulled out, so mm -hmm. they had somebody else come in. Welcome to the party. And said, hey, here's all their shit. Mm -hmm. Go have at it. Mm -hmm. Everyone... <laughs> The, the characters in the game look depressed. Mm -hmm. it's, hor <laughs> it's horrible. So I still tried playing it, and I played Kevin Owens versus uh, Adam Cool. And we get backstage, and it just starts glitching, and I just I got to the point. I was like, fuck it. I cannot play this game. You release an unfinished game. Now, I'm not one to continuously bitch, but when I give up on a wrestling game before I even start it, and I install Red Dead 2 back onto my system, mm-hmm. That's saying something. Mm -hmm. I am a lifelong fan. I haven't missed a game since SmackDown 2. Wow. Yes. Wow. I had Day of Reckoning 1, 2, WWE Raw 1 and 2. I missed Every it. SmackDown except for number 2. Like, I'm a, I'm a diehard wrestling gamer, gamer fan. This ruined it. This was horrible. Fix the game. If I can ever reach 2K, fix the fucking game. I think I think there are a lot now. So did you? I know uh, on what, what platform are you on? I'm on PS4. You're on PS4. Yeah. I think PS4 had been refunding people that were complaining about. Oh, that. I called GameStop that night and I said, "What can I do? This game is horrible." Mm -hmm. They said, "Well, we can either give you trade-in value for it." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so you lose so half, half five dollars. Yeah. Well, no, it's like twelve. Okay. okay, and I got it on sale for twenty seven because I. It's already down to twenty seven. They do it every Black Friday. That's really? why I wait. Okay, because I'm cheap and because I can get two yeah, games for the price of one. Even, it was thirty to download the deluxe edition on Xbox, and I still didn't do it. Mm -mm. It's just it's just mm -mm. disgusting. And then the mm -mm. fact that you get in and like you're in like the main menu where everything's at, mm -hmm. and they show the fiend, they show bump in the night, they show mm -hmm. everything. How is that? all downloadable content already mm -hmm. being showed if i haven't paid for it yet mm -hmm. there was no they didn't show the roster in there like in the digital realm like they didn't show the digital roster beforehand which was should have been a sign they didn't do early access for um pre-orders mm -hmm. of the deluxe edition and then i was looking online they did a special thing where it was either i want to say it was ray mysterio edge and it was another one kurt get, angle kurt angle yep it was a plaque you get if you pre-order the uh smackdown edition <laughs> and it's a signed plaque by of one of them and people were getting the plaques that weren't signed yep 2k wasn't doing shit about it so somebody hit up edge on twitter or instagram or something like that and he set up a po box for them to send it right after that 2k finally said something about it jeez i'm like you released a broken game mm -hmm. and it's, I mean, not to sound like an a-hole, but WWE has them on that yearly schedule. You have to get it out by this point. Well, I don't know. So, so there's, I one. think that's more 2K. No, that, that's 2K. That, what, that is 2K. There's a contract. There's, there's a contract and there's a licensing deal, mm -hmm. right? And that can lead to that. That can lead to, uh, uh, other developers doing those mobile games that you get, like you know the Jewel game or or the, the WWE Mayhem, like kind of more fighting game that they did for a little bit, mm -hmm. or the uh, Immortals game that was really fucking cool that uh, yeah. that Never Nether Realm did and in, in WB Games. So I mean, there, there's that, right? And um, and but that's that's typical for big developers think modern warfare or you know call of duty games right that's also on a yearly schedule but, 2K but is so big. it's 
<laughs> but that's that's also cycles different developers year to year. So. Right. But okay, but look at look at their basketball game. That's their money maker. Yeah. Yeah. They don't dump Oh, they're this. making no, oh, they're making money off WWE. Yeah. They're making money. They're making money off WWE, but they're I mean, last year WWE actually this year too, WWE two K twenty was one of the best sellers mm-hmm. all you know of gaming. But Everybody's saying time, last year's game was awesome too. So. Oh, it was definitely great. Mm-hmm. The storyline was awesome. The way you start in the indies was incredible. The newest I the newest I have is two K sixteen because it was a freebie on gold. Yeah. Uh on, on Xbox. So and it was pretty good and and it's and and again 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 I'm still playing I'm still loving going back and just just hanging out and playing All Stars and Legends of yeah, WrestleMania. See, people didn't so, like All Stars and I was a big I fan. I loved of that. it. I love the arcade stuff. Uh-huh. I wish we could do All Stars again. Mm-hmm. I also I also need to get me myself a copy of uh, 2009 so I can import all the modern characters into Legends of WrestleMania. Oh yeah, because that's a thing you can do. I forgot about I also, that. I also want them to just come out of Crush Hour again. There's that too. Oh, of course. Yeah, bring 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 back Crush Hour. Just bring back Crush Hour. Hashtag bring bring back. I want, I want Rusev in a tank with the twisty rockets. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm still stuck on the ice cream bars. And then when he powers up the tank, he goes into the tank, and then the tanks are rocking. Mm-hmm. And then it's the. And then you don't come a knocking. No, no. Because Lana's in there denying him sex. I guess. Ah, uh, oh, that's. I don't know. I can't keep up with that. Yeah, no one knows. Also, I I, I, I meant to like text my wife and listen, be like, listen, do you need to file a PFA in each state you go to? Hmm. Like, that's new. That was a new thing tonight. So, um, okay. I, I don't know. Um, and also, and also a PFA ruined the main event of Starcade last night. I don't know if you guys caught that. You guys watch? Not. And, and I, can I? I feel like now you know I want to hold Starcade conversation for tomorrow. Um, but uh, uh, anyways, um, so there was Raw tonight. Yeah. And um, I, it was Joe was great. <laughs> Wait, Mike, we lost Mike. What is he going? Sorry, there was a cat in the box. Oh. <laughs> Because I, I don't know if you know, this is the box for the Lego. Yes, it's huge. That's my head to scale. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I could do a show out of this box. Okay. So your traveling Mad Mike studio can go in that box. Yes. That will be my new seasonal residence. Hmm. Okay. That's a gimmick. So, raw. Raw. <laughs> Why? Why is Raw? Why is Raw? Oh, boy. Um, the only thing I heard out of WWE today is that Stephen Amell is going to be on backstage. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. They didn't advertise him on Raw, which I thought was interesting. Mm-hmm. But he is going to be on backstage, and I would have promoted that given that Crisis on Infinite Earths starts on Sunday, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was reading up a little bit on that today. That's exciting. Yeah, I, I think it'll be interesting because they're, they're, he's supposedly going to be doing the promo class. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder if they're going to talk about his friends. Yeah, was there, his friends? What friends are those, Mike? Uh, his friends in the Bullet Club. Oh, oh yeah, those guys. The, his those friends guys. on AEW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, CM Punk definitely had no problem last week to asking uh, Renee Young which one her favorite was from the Shield. That was good. Yeah. That was fantastic. I, uh, you know what? And again, it's going to be something I watch YouTube's of. And mm-hmm. also, I, I didn't watch Raw or SmackDown last week, other than YouTube catch-ups, mm, I don't think which I were either. kind of okay. And even the YouTube's got boring. Yeah. So makes about sense. I mean, uh, well, I was actually okay last week. Mm-hmm. It was okay. It was fine. Mm-hmm. This week, <clears throat> hot garbage. Uh, it was medium garbage. I think a good. I think a good commentator helps, and I yeah. think I think the addition of Samoa Joe was helping that along. Um, there's, I, I I say that a lot because there's. Like some promotions that are, uh, you know, this was not a great wrestling show, but because this person was on commentary, it's like bumped it up a bit mm-hmm. and made it like not seem 
like the trash fire could have been, mm-hmm. right? And that's that's a lot of weeks on Raw. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. I think that helps. I think. I, uh, I mean, can we just get to Seth Rollins' new shield with AOP already? Yeah, I because I feel like this this yeah, teasing so. along it just it's like oh, come on, just just do the thing. Like we know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Do you e- like, either do, that or it or it's Kevin Owens with AOP. Which, and we don't we don't expect you to AOP really we don't expect you to really swerve us at this point, right? Yeah. Um, it's very by the numbers. But uh, it, you know. And also TLC is in like two weeks, and there's nothing. yes, I've noticed more chairs being used in there's certain situations. Before. So, oh, do we have matches for that show yet? Nope, no, nope. that's that's nothing. what I'm saying. There's nothing booked. Nothing, before. nothing. It didn't. It didn't even look like a hint of anything being booked tonight on Raw. So... No, except for maybe Bruce versus Lashley. Finally, um, Tina calls out something good. Um, the shirts that Rusev has been rocking. Uh, lately, uh, last night the entire end of uh, Starcade was him beating up Bobby Lashley while wearing a Bob Ross T-shirt. Ah, it was fantastic. And tonight he had a Johnny Cash. Also, yes. well, I mean, he did just come from home. Well, yeah. Also, they are in Nashville, and I have seen the Johnny Cash Museum, at least the outside. Bruce so. have walked to the arena. Like is is it, it, it was, when they're doing the the police thing, and I love the I watch WWE. We do things differently in Nashville. Oh, <laughs> uh, but that came off so. I don't know. Racist. I don't know what that meant. That came off as so racist. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That yeah. came off as very, very. That was racist. a little rough. If they would have been like, uh, like we don't deal with adultery down here. Okay, wait, hold on. That's one I, something I wanted to talk about. The only man that she's ever been with, but then... Well, oh, she, no, the only real she's man she's ever been with. Uh, only she's real seen. man. She, okay. She's saying Rusev's not a man. That yes. That's fine. That that I, I I cringed at that a little bit. That I'm like, okay, she's saying Rusev's not a man. I get it. Mm-hmm. Fine. Stupid. Okay. But. Um, but, but also, I think I think the thing is, like, is Rusev kind of a hometown hero at this point in Nashville? Rusev's kind of a hometown hero everywhere. He, he is, but I mean, but especially Nashville. If he's American. Like, like, like Rusev <laughs> has somehow the I, I think legitimately Bulgarian import Rusev. Mm-hmm. Yep, has identified most in America with Nashville. Yeah, it's fascinating, especially if you watch his Instagram. Also, I feel like Rusev would be where would be very excited about your Hogwarts castle. Um, oh yeah, he absolutely. He just. I he, remember when he was live tweeting with him, re- him reading the Harry Potter books. Mm-hmm. He love it. By the way, Alex, I did not like the Kabuki Warriors versus Charlotte. Okay. No. Uh it should not take Asuka and Kyrie saying that long to beat Charlotte. Yeah. I'm sorry, it should not. That match should not have been a I was, match. I was having a problem with the why. The why I get because it's Charlotte. I I assume Charlotte issued the challenge because they've been attacking her two on one. Mm-hmm. That I get, and Charlotte is a cocky asshole who thinks she can do it. Right. But that should not have taken that long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That should not have taken that long, and Charlotte should not have been that close to defeating the tag team champions by herself. Especially when they didn't get the job, when her and Becky didn't get the job done at Starcade. Also seemed weird. Yes. Uh, did they acknowledge anything from Starcade? Nope. Tonight? Not a single thing. Not even that main event with them. Not not a single thing. Hmm. I didn't watch yeah. it. It's. I mean, you you could do without it. Um. The Rick. Fla- it helped you. Yeah. My, the Rick Flair. The Rick Fr- Flair. Uh. Kevin Owens may be the worst KO show I've ever watched. No one over forty should be on televised what? wrestling. No, no, no. It with wasn't that. Four exceptions. You heard. Four exceptions. You you heard this a little bit tonight. This whole WWE is family thing. Have, have you heard this? This little like it, it feels like a little bit of a dog whistle uh, lately. Yeah. Um. With them, like it, it's like you know, it's like calling the fans WWE universe. They're yeah. saying, "Oh, we're like a weird kind of family." The WWE roster. It's just like, oh, wait, sure. isn't that? I feel like Ring of Honor has been doing that lately when they've been having really terrible um, public persona issues as a company. Uh, so I, I I don't know if that's the way you want to go right now, WWE. Um, yeah, usually 
uh, I mean, indies use it to interesting uh, good effect. I feel like RWA is really good with that here locally um, because, like, it is, like, in a, it is a more personalized Like, NXT, thing. I feel like, is a family because that's yeah. the we go there week in, week out for that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, side note, really fun of Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, congratulating uh, Jessica Carr on her lateral move to SmackDown. Yes. I love how he put that. So, that was a really so, nice touch. Good for her. Yeah, good for seriously, her. That's seriously awesome. good for her. Yeah. Like, I, like wow, a lateral did you move. Watch speech at the end? What's that? Did you watch her speech at the end of NXT? I did listen to her speech. She's a pretty good promo. Yeah. 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 She, honestly, wait, can we just flip flop Jessica Carr and Lana? <laughs> oh shit! Please, did you hear her on this show a couple years ago? Like, yeah, she was like, fantastic. Yeah, she's great. Um, no, yeah, yeah she is, and, and but also, it, it, while a lateral move, you can still say <laughs> lateral move. Fox knew, uh, like she's going to Fox, and mm-hmm. that is more visibility to yes. have a female referee than any other program WWE has. Yeah, bar none. Like that, that lateral move brand, but not lateral move on platform. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and Brandon's also saying that Champa said he would rather retire than go to the mate than go to either Raw or SmackDown. Yeah. No, the line was apparently it was this an interview he did somewhere because I, I couldn't see a, right, yeah. I couldn't see a reference for it. It was popped up on a Reddit, and it was like it was like I would rather become a producer or agent or train um, <laughs> than, than, go, to than go to Raw or SmackDown. Right. If I have to go, I will retire before they can do that. As fucked up as it sounds, now those guys that are on NXT right now they don't have to go anywhere. They don't, and no, honestly, no. if they do, it's almost as if it's career suicide. It is. It is. It seems to be. People get frustrated and they move on. You know, yeah. I mean, it's people doing really great stuff down there, and and I think, yeah, I mean, you're gonna see more of that. I mean, it's exciting. I mean, obviously, uh, Mike, I saw you point out. I saw those ratings late last week. Well, uh, also. Yeah. Also, I am curious because it was Thanksgiving Eve. There could be some effects, so I'm curious. It to could see. be, but still, mm-hmm. look at the trend. I mean, Grant uh, NXT uh, was coming off the pay per view. Yeah, and and officially, officially, AEW um was beat by NXT. It was something about eight hundred thousand to six hundred thousand. Yeah, but uh, I mean, areas. Like, oh, but AEW won the demographic. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, more people watched NXT and. That AEW rating, I don't care what day it is. That's half the people lost from their first show. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. That's half the people lost from their first show. Like Absolutely. Because, and like, honestly, I have not even been compelled to watch AEW the past couple of weeks. But still, but still, collectively, probably two of the highest rated programs on Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. I bet. I would, I mean, honestly, as, as messed up as it sounds, I would rather watch AEW, NXT, Ring of Honor, and Impact before I'd watch SmackDown and Raw. I think most of those are doing very good products. Yeah. I'd, hell, I'd rather watch indie shows than SmackDown and Raw. Well, it's come more on. entertaining. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Certain. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's what you're looking for in wrestling, right? Yeah. Um, and again, I, and this is where I have to put the disclaimer, Raw SmackDown are not for us that we'll sit and listen and do the show like this. But they could be, they could be, yeah. but it could be, it's just certain it's people not like, the top don't want to make it for us. I can't, they don't want to make it for us because the money is not in, with us. Um, it's, it's, have I done the tech TV reference on well, the show you, lately? You say that, but at the same time. They're counting on hardcore wrestling fans to pay Tom Sabini over six thousand dollars to get a custom Bray Wyatt Universal title. Fuck that. <laughs> no, I'm I'm saying. Uh, I know. I saw it. I saw the price tag. Us, but at the same time, we're the one buying the belts. We're the one buying. We the are, or are the hardcore WWE fans? Because I think hardcore Are-W- wrestling fans and hardcore WWE fans are two different animals. Yes. And uh, or, <coughs> and now they have their podcast to listen to with Corey yeah. Graves in the New Day. Hmm. I'm more excited for the New Day one. I am. I am too. I am too. I, I like Corey. Corey is, I, I like. I like Corey's because I like Corey. Um, and I like the interviews. Yeah, I, it, the interviews are good. 
I, I think I, I mean, I feel a kindred spirit when he just also slams on Lana and uh, Bobby Lashley um, parts of the show. So I'm just like, OK, this feels like you're giving me something. I'm, I'm good with this. But also it is like, you know, I, I am really interested to see this. I, I, I don't like that. He didn't apologize. Yeah. What? Tomorrow. Oh, he did not. This did he? Did he address no, it this he, week? He he apologized. He's like, if anyone was offended, that's not an apology. <laughs> that's not an apology. I also don't think I don't. I do not believe that was. I think people think there's a thing there that isn't there. No, I think there was a thing. You there. think, and you're one of the people that thinks there's a thing there that might not yeah, be a thing there, and I think there's no thing there. So your thing and my thing are going to be different things. But That's saying right. if anybody was offended is the same thing as saying you look like shit, but then apologizing by saying I'm sorry you look like shit. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you exactly. That's not an apology. Mm-hmm. You're still offending them. Mm-hmm. Dan Sandwich mm-hmm. and, K- and Dustin Vanner still offended. Um, and, and Tina's also getting me interested uh, from comments she said about the New Day podcast and what I read. It looks like they they're talking about the creativity and when they started as preachers and stuff from what I'm seeing, I'm really interested to listen to that. Uh, Brandon, no. Um, oh, wait, no, let me finish with Tina's other thing. Fuck. You've got Tessa Blanchard versus Sammy Callahan for the impact world title coming up shortly. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the first time either. Yeah. They're doing really fun stuff there. Uh, Brandon. So is Matt going to change the rules for mayhem mania so we can use all the wrestlers and not just WWE since we don't like them right now? No, we like no, the because, wrestlers. Yeah. See, we, we don't like the, like the we also, shows and we also make better matchups for the wrestlers. We yes. make matches three years ago that are now relevant today. Yep. Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley happened uh, on NXT. Uh, AOP and Seth Rollins versus the Usos and Roman Reigns. Yeah. That's from 2018, good. apparently, it was a match that Matt, Matt Carlin's had made. And so, I still want my Brock Lesnar versus Asuka match, damn mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. Still do, especially since Brock has actually been working matches. Mm-hmm. God, give me Brock Lesnar that gives a fuck versus Asuka. <laughs> it. it I want, I want like, um, Brock Lesnar from Hell in a Cell with Taker era against Oscar. Like no, the first I'll time around. Brock, no, I'll take Brock Lesnar from his match with Seth Rollins. Yes, that was great. That was good. It was good stuff. Sorry, what were you saying, Nick? Are you talking about the first time around Hell in a Cell? Like yes. back when Taker yes. had a broken hand. Oh, did he have a broken hand? It was Biker Taker. Yes, and I remember they were like hanging from the top of the sh- cell. Don't you like, remember he he smashed Taker's hand with the uh, Viger extinguisher? Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And then Paul Heyman was there, and Brock Celebrant on top of the cell, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um, with that, we've done about forty-five minutes of a show here. Yeah, and Raw was terrible, so we don't really need to address it. Yeah, that's good. I think we've covered all the bases here. Yep. I uh, talked to him. It was great. Oh, Sorg, Disney Plus. I watched Brink. Yes, I watched Brink. Um, I also recognize Brink as a backdoor pilot for ESPN two. This is a challenge. Ronnie and Mike had had challenged me to watch two of a list of movies on Disney Plus. The what do you call them? Decoms. 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 Disney, Disney Channel original movies. Oh, oh, that's right. It was an acronym because I was trying to figure out are these comedies. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it was a coming age story of of some skaters in California. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I thought I like the part where the dad was. I bought you skates so you'd have something to do and play outside a little bit. I didn't realize it'd become your life. Yeah, it was like, huh? Okay, mm-hmm. okay, dad. Okay, uh, okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. <laughs> it was a very okay boomer. Um, yeah. So I I don't know if I'm like I said I I don't know if I'm gonna really have the uh, uh, bandwidth to watch a second one f- by tomorrow's show because I really I personally really want to watch AEW before tomorrow's show. So. Um, and see what happened there because I'm seeing images and and messages about Soul Train Jones, for instance. So, okay, um, I learned this weekend that Virgil has moved out of Pittsburgh. Um, no, not at, well, not far out, of <laughs> not far from Pittsburgh, but he, he has moved from a different enough? location from where we shot the Legend of Virgil DVD mm. at his apartment. So. Oh. Oh, so that well, that was something that I that somebody was telling. Me, so. Well, it does seem as though things are starting to, you know, really look up for him. Yeah, something. I'm glad. Good God, I couldn't Jeez. believe that. Jeez, 
his promo in that video was just so great. Uh, uh, can we get Mia Yim and Kaylee Ray versus the Kabuki Warriors? Sure. So yeah. Tina. Yeah, it's, it's, I, Tina, save, save that for Mayhem Mania. Yes, that's, that's, that's what happened by Mayhem Mania. It's, it's, it's the secret, and we put it out in the I, world. I think we need to up the matches that get approved to the Mayhem Mania card. Okay. Because WrestleMania has like 11 matches or 12 matches now. This is true. Not this as much true. as a Black Diamond show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, but... was that Black Diamond Mania on Sunday? Oh my god, I loved it. <laughs> it's not Black Diamond Mania unless there was a three-hour pre-show. Um, it's sort of. There was a seminar with Gregory Iron. Yeah, so that's Does that count? Pre-show. Is it, is no, it... pre-show has to have at least five matches. <laughs> five matches in a table. I mean, there was people just kind of at the commentary table drinking and talking. I mean, that's kind of like a pre-kickoff that's show. Like a watch along. <laughs> Kind of is, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I watched one. I watched part of one uh, watch along, and there was just popcorn everywhere. So watch along is something that, something great to keep on in the background of of when you're doing work. Somebody was sending me the um oh what's the one they do on like Wednesday mornings the the bump, uh, the bump. and I'm just like I'm not I'm not watching this I can't the I bump can't. Is that one. but but there's plenty of people that will and again I think that's that's your other fans that's your WWE hardcore fans yeah not your wrestling fans yeah. I want to watch. You know, I want to listen to. One thing I, I want to. I want to listen to wrestling cheers. That's going to tell me about the indie uh, uh, world in Cleveland, right? I I want to listen to the New Day one where they're talking about how it's really like to get booked as you know as the New Day and everything, and, and pre- going to tell you you're going to be preachers. I want to sure. listen. I want to listen to Gregory Iron talk to Effie. <laughs> you know, like that's that's your. I think that's your hardcore fan mm-hmm. kind of thing. You know, so. so one thing you should seek out from the bump. Mm. Is when they surprise Tegan Knox by having her chat with Kane. Oh yeah, is she like a huge Kane mark or something? She is. She calls herself Lady Kane. What? Huh? Yeah. What? She, she she is she is dressed up as Kane mm-hmm. for like the past two years in the NXT Halloween Battle Royal. Oh, she, she does can. a choke slam because she loves Kane. And she is not and, a tall person. <laughs> no, she's not. At all. And, they, and they did not tell her Kane was going to be on the bump. Mm-hmm. You need to find it. It's amazing. Did she just completely fangirl she, out? She completely marked out. It was the be- it was the greatest thing ever. This is a this is a cool thing that's happening because you have all these people working on NXT that's like happening here, right? Mm-hmm. And then like they're not like, hey, Kane's here this week. We're only doing twenty four seven on Raw. You gotta, you're gonna run into Kane, right? Right. Like, like backstage or something. Like, they're not in that part of the world, so they're still in that. Like, oh, I'm in WWE, but I'm not like running into Ric Flair randomly, mm-hmm. right? Like, that isn't just a thing that happens. No, it's you know? not. So, it, it, so that that's kind of a cool thing, <laughs> but no, no, it, it, yeah, it is. You need. You, I'm telling you, just find that video. Because it's like it's like a live video feed too, because mm. they do that show live. Yeah. So when, when you find that, send that to me too. What that that that, that part? Yeah. So, uh, I drop it. Drop it in the group for me if you can. If you yeah, can let me see it. if I can find it real yeah. quick. So I'm sure they have the clip. And that's the thing. I, I and all those backstage that like they're oh God. WD, we talk about how much uh, uh, stuff WWE is turning for the network. Yeah. They're, they're just generating stuff everywhere now. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, I mean, I when when to- I'm not gonna lie, when Total Divas first came out, I was like, okay, like I'll give this a try. Like it, it seemed legit. And the deeper it goes into season after season, mm-hmm. you're just like, holy fuck, this is scripted as hell. Yeah, it's a reality show. I mean, it's, it's you watch enough of a reality show, you yeah. start seeing the you start seeing the lines, you yeah. know. So well, I mean, it's the same way. If you watch WWE enough, you start to figure out exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's, there's there's a playbook, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, just like, hey, I want to watch Arrow. I kind of know where Arrow's going to go with this, yeah. you know, kind of thing. So it's it's uh, it's, you know, I can't watch Law and Order anymore, right? Because <laughs> I figured it out. I'm like, yeah. shit. Now I know. Um, so anyways, it's a chat room. I see it. I see. It. I'll have to remember to drop in there. Uh, Mad Mike forty eight three on the tweets. YouTube.com slash Poppy. Nick Farah. Okay, with some oh, of the 
I actually do have an update. As of tomorrow, okay. there will be a new Instagram and Facebook. Tomorrow? Yep. As Why not to- today? Well, because I didn't get a chance to switch the name Why on the old... Why tomorrow? Uh, Why? Why tomorrow? Because I got to do it after Why I Why do we got to wait? It's Why gonna, are you even going to tell the people? 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. We launch Nick with Nichols, the new Nick Nichols. The Gemini Ginger. Don't bother looking for it now. Don't do it now. Don't even bother. But by bother. the time some of you guys listen to this, it'll be up and running. What kind of fine content is going to be on that social media? It's going to be promotions for all the ones I'm working for. Anywhere that you're going to see me. Uh, okay. The Instagram is going to be full of pictures from so, around uh, the indie. So when you scene. went, it was for uh, Nasty Nick uh, Farrah meet and greets. And uh, all you got to do is call me. <laughs> <laughs> call him. He's lonely. Book call Nick him. Nichols. <laughs> call him. Beep him if you want to reach him. <laughs> oh, Nick geez. What the hell? What the hell? I um, might even get on Twitter. Hit me on the tweets. That's probably not going to happen, though. You know, everybody tweet him. Everybody tweet him. Hey, <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Again, we will be here tomorrow night, uh, Tuesday, on the Wrestling Mayhem Show on Facebook and everywhere else, uh, where we will have Zeke, Zeke Mercer, fresh off of his refereeing debut this weekend. Representing the Jesus Club. Representing the Jesus Club. Yes, that as well. Oh, my God. Um, so, you do not fuck with the Jesus Club. I'm sorry? I heard you do not fuck with the Jesus Club. Do not know Jesus Club for eternity. I did pitch that to them. Oh, I got God. one of those thoughtful emojis. Damn so, it! Well I, well, I pitched it to the the leader. So, the road. I don't know. He's busy being on Ring of Honor. I, I think four would be like this. No, it's no, it four. Like a cross. No, it's four. Isn't no. it? It wasn't a four life or like four yeah, but life. Yeah, I'm Jesus yeah. Club. So it'd be four. No, but it's four. Two. Eternity. Isn't that so weird that you know? Four. Eternity. Just a few months ago. You know, my cousin's a pastor. I should. I really pitch this to him too. Oh, this will get real. This will get over in Weirton, West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Now we've offended a whole demographic. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.